My name is Amory Walsh. Um, between my husband and I, Brian, we run the Tipperary Kitchen. We're based in Holy Cross Village uh, in County Tipperary. Our initial um, uh, vision for the shop was that we would have the shop and we would add on a gourmet uh, deli counter and uh, a gourmet kitchen and that's what we were going to sell nice coffee and it was all going to be beautiful nice rose tinted glasses on however the Celtic Tiger as we say ran out of petrol about two years later and we really had to look at uh, we had to reevaluate our business and look at how we could um, maintain the sales because obviously there was a, a big drop in sales at the time so we started going into the farmers market in Thurlis girl who was making bread left the, the, the market and we decided that we would start baking bread. We began to look to see how we could develop, uh, grow that business and we started another farmers market in Templemore. We also then started to deliver into some of the local shops so we got as we call it, the start in our local centre shop here in Thurlis, uh, Eli's and from that then we grew the number of shops and we, we now have a very nice um, delivery run that we go out three days a week into the local area so we do Thurlis, Bursley, Rossgray, Templemore, Orlingford and Cashel and uh, on that run it's literally like a bakery on wheels. So we now are delivering our breads, bread range, we have a fresh cream range and we have um, other pastries like apple tarts etc and then we also have our chocolate biscuit cake and our Holy Cross chocolate biscuit cake and our Holy Cross meringue range. So then we began to see well okay, what, what next? Where can we go after this? We were also at the time we started to network with other food producers in the area. So the likes of Coolini Cheese, Cross Oak Preserves. Um, and we began to, to speak to these other food producers that were well long established and very successful companies. And when we began to see their operations and understand their business, we really thought that, you know, we really could go further with this, like much further than we had ever initially considered. So we looked at our full range and we decided to focus in on two ranges, our Holy Cross chocolate biscuit cake and our meringue ranges. Uh, we took them to um, a food festival down in Dingle and the reaction back from those products was really good. Um, but we decided initially that we would focus in on the chocolate biscuit cake. We found that the county enterprise boards, in particular Leo as they're called now, were very helpful, not only from the grant, the financial side of um, things, but also from the mentoring mentors that they gave us and also from their own direct advice. And they would, they, we found that they gave us fantastic advice on where to go to next and what steps that we should be taking um, to, to grow our business. And I suppose in some ways, gently nudged us on to see the p true potential of what we had in front of us because when you're small and you're not really sure, you're on this untraveled road, you really have no idea of, of what you have in your hands. And um, they really helped us to be able to see the value in what we were doing. Through their support, we've been really able to see um, and see the growth of our Holy Cross chocolate biscuit cake and to achieve our vision. And our vision is that which we what we set out with was is to have chocolate biscuit cake the holy cross chocolate biscuit cake available throughout ireland uh, we see that there's no biscuit cake branded biscuit cake available at the moment throughout ireland and that's our goal is to achieve that of course in achieving that and it's you know you do need that end vision to keep you focused especially through the tough days but you also have to be able to then pare that down and to look at it on a step-by-step -step basis and this, that's particularly important as a small business and that's where the networking comes in, that's where the county enterprise boards, the leaders, that's where all of those um, groups, board BIA etc, all of those support groups come in because you can have this great vision but it's actually the day to day, the, the little steps that you take on a daily basis to achieve that end vision, they're the, the supports that keep you going. Looking back now we can really see that diversification was the making of us. Uh, had we not diversified into the food production area, really the shop Holy Cross stores would not be here today and we can see even still how the two businesses rely on each other and how one is supporting the other. Having the shop here allows us to trial out new product development which is very important for business. So we're able to bring new products into our shop, get the feedback from our customers and then when successful or make the amendments then roll them out on a further basis. So it's a very successful combination and whether it's selling it over the counter or making it in our kitchen it's where we're at and it's where we want to be.